Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hi, Hello. teacher. Hi, hi. How are you doing? ¿Cómo estamos? Tuesday, martesito. Good. A ver, Jolly. Good. Bad. With energy. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Luis Borja. Good. Everything good? I'm fine, teacher. Are you I'm fine? fine. Well, wow, that's nice. I like to, to hear that. Francis, a ver, me va a decir un poema ahorita. Okay, Francis? Good, How are teacher. you? How are you? Good. Excellent. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Lo bueno que no estás acostada, mira. Mm, ahorita. Nah. <laughs> ok. Te mm -hmm. voy a ir a acostar. No. No es que estaba tomando un fresco bien helado para que me quite el sueño. Mm -hmm. Si sí necesitas eso, con piquete. Blanca. No, para nada. Mm -hmm. Sí, es de ensalada. Pero, pero no trae piquete. Provecho. Enjoy your drink. Disfruta tu fresco. Ok, hello, Blanca. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Well, I'm, I'm good. I'm pretty excited. Excited significa emocionado, no otra cosa, ok? So, I'm pretty excited because um, I like to watch TV. I mean, series. Uh, in my free time, I like to, to watch series. So I'm excited because of one that is new. So that's the way. Okay, uh, let's see, Irma. Hello, Irma. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Are you at home in your house? I mean, in your house. My house, my room. <laughs> okay, that's your bedroom or not? <laughs> Is that your bedroom? No. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, I can see some butterflies on the wall. Veo mariposas. Ah, there's a cat. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. Hello, Luis. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Good? A little tired, man. A little tired. Okay, it's Tuesday, almost vacation. Wow. The okay. other the other week. The other week. Okay. okay, next week. Uh, Luis, are Wednesday. you having are you having vacations next week? Yes. Wednesday. Yes. Tuesday. And you are free. Wednesday. Yes. Eres libre. Okay. Yes. Good. Irma, are you having vacations next week? No. 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 Come on. No, no vacation existing. No. Ah, ya va. Ya va de víctima. Okay. Todos trabajamos en restaurante. Más trabajamos. Really. But more money. Más pisto, más pisto, más money. Más billete. Okay. So, un billullo. Okay, that's good. Let's listen to another víctima. Vamos a escuchar otra víctima. Francis, are you having vacations next week? Francis, creo que ya se fue de vacaciones. Let's listen to... Ajá, Francis. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Are you having vacations <laughs> next week? Yes. Can you repeat? Are you yes. having vacations? Si vas a tener vacas next week. Yes. Mm. El del sábado, este sábado. How do you say sábado? Saturday. Ah, okay. From Saturday on. Te vas a ir de parranda. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. No. No. En esos días son los que... Menos salgo. Prefiero salir otros, otros okay. días y no en vacación. That's good. That's really good advice. Un buen consejo. Let's listen to Olga. Hello, Olga. Olguita. Olga. Well, I think she's busy. Let's listen to Jolly. Are you having vacations next week, Jolly? Yeah, teacher. Uh, how many I days? Five days of vacations. Um, one day of vacation. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice regreso? I, I come back. I come back uh, on um, April 6th. April 6th. Okay. That's nice. So you have 
Uh, when when is your last day of, of, of working? What? Your last day. Ah, uh, Friday. On okay. Friday. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to work even Sunday and Monday. Imagine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Como que si tuviera grandes deudas. Bueno, medio. Okay, so let's Teacher. listen to Yes. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat? You say having. Mm -hmm. Are vacation? you having? Mm -hmm. ese, ese, having. Ese, esa estructura gramatical la vamos a ver en estos días. Are you having vacations? Se ve, es eh, presente continuo o progresivo, pero significa. Pero. Se pero usa para lo que estás haciendo en este momento o para planes a futuro. Cerca. Planes cerca. So, are you having vacations? ¿Tendrás vacaciones? Mm -hmm. Ok. Se traduciría, estás teniendo vacaciones, literalmente, pero that's not the meaning. No, es que, es que yo sabía que, que no se puede conjugar el verbo have, pero usted mm. también es profesor. Entonces, sí se puede. O, también mean, se aprende. No, I mean, todos los verbos se deben de conjugar, porque esa es la función del verbo, puede cambiar. A lo que voy es que quizás, eh, no sé, quizás... No se conjuga con S, por ejemplo, cuando utilizas tercera persona. She has. Uh -huh. Se dice, eh, no se dice she has, se dice she has. Quizás a eso se referían porque con los demás se puede agregar ING. Es un verbo irregular, of course. So it changes in the past. Cambia en el pasado. But that's it, yeah. Le like puedes agregar ING y todo. Ok. Oh, ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. No worries. Carolina, are you having vacations? Pero no se puede decir hasing, ¿verdad? No. Hasing, o sea, no. solo having. No. El verbo en sí como tal se utiliza en infinitivo cuando le vamos a agregar un sufijo, un, un ing. Uh -huh. Ay, usted está igual que el español. Usted que está hablando de prefijo, sufijo y yo. Ah, prefijo. Antes. Letrita <ríe> después, prefijo <ríe> antes. Eso. Ya bueno, pues. Okay. Por ejemplo, boyfriend. Es novio. Ex-boyfriend es un prefijo. Ya, un ex. Ya. Yeah. Entonces, son letras. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, okay. So, let's listen. Carolina, yes, are you there? Carolina, Carolina. Hi, teacher. Hi, are you having vacations? Yes, vacations next week. I will yeah. not have vacations. You will not have vacations. Oh, no. so you have to work, but more money, like Irma. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, teacher, las mujeres somos ricas. Yes. Women, usually, women <laughs> have money. Uh, it's money. very common. Es bien común que las mujeres tienen pista. Mm -hmm. So, let's listen to Eric. Are you having vacations next week? Yes? Say yes. Yes, of course. Of course. When is your last day of working? Where? I'm sorry? Uh, what, when is your last day? at work ah oh, friday oh so from saturday you are free saturday and sunday i am ah. free you are free like a single man <laughs> no, no no i have i have a life familiar a familiar life yes yeah, so of course responsibility that's good yeah. aprendan de eric okay good that's Thanks. nice uh, wendy vacations next week mahawal cocktail <laughs> I will have vacation. Yes, you will have vacations. Sí, vas a tener. Es que se trabó el inter. Uh, the internet has some problems. I will have vacation because I work. Ah, you will not have. Mm -hmm. Porque el haven't, mm -hmm. ahí sí, I will not have vacations. Ok, I'm sorry, lo siento por ti, pero más pisto también. More money. Let's listen. Ángel, vacations next week? Yes? Evening, mister. No. No vacations. No vacation, mister. Work, no. work, and work. Work, work. Work, Toda work, semana, and please. money. And debt, money, y deuda, leave. deuda también, ok. So, that's part of the life. I'm sorry. And, ok, we're going besides... Besides working, además de trabajar, in the real life, we have 
illnesses. Tenemos enfermedades. Or we have um, pains. Entonces, tenemos enfermedades y tenemos dolores. No solo en el corazón, sino que en las partes del cuerpo. So, in this case, can you see here that... Qué rara está esta imagen. So, asthma, you know what is asthma. Porque backache, todo lo que termina en H se pronuncia ache, ¿verdad? Backache, dolor de espalda. Broken leg, eh, pueden ver la piernita de la abuela. Cold es resfriado. Cough, con F, cough, como que se están tosiendo. Eh, tos. Earache, miren, se aparece otra vez A, que de H. Ache, eso significa dolor. So, ear, oreja, o también puede, oído. Earache. Fever, fiebre. The flu, the flu, que es gripe. Headache, podemos ver otra vez H aquí. Headache, dolor de cabeza. Heartburn que es pues, cuando nos da taquicardia, ¿verdad? cuando eh, acelera el, el ritmo. Measles, que es eh, sal, quiero ver, sarampión. Measles, measles, esta e es, es silent. Rush, es cuando nos da pues, eh, salpullido por, por picazón. Sore throat, dolor de garganta. Stomachache, dolor de estómago. Uh -huh. Sunburn. Quemadura, así lo voy a, bueno, a ver si, si los alcanzo a ver después, todo quemado. Sunburn, toothache, tooth, diente, toothache, dolor de dientes. Ok. We have backache, con esta figura extraña, como que está bailando perreo. Backache, eh, ¿verdad? Es este mismo, dolor de espalda. Earache, repeated, broken leg is repeated, sore throat is repeated. Headache, head, cabeza, headache, dolor de cabeza. Cold is repeated, fever is repeated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's it. So the other ones are like repeated. I'm sorry, uh -huh. measles the flu. Okay, so tell me what is uh, what is the most common illness or pain in your house or or in your case? ¿Cuál es la enfermedad como más común en ustedes? Okay, let's listen to Luis Borja. Can you mention one of these uh, illnesses or pains? What is the most common with you or in your family? ¿Cuál podría ser la más común? Um, a fever, teacher. Ah, fever. Mm -hmm. Fever, fever. But, okay. But Saturday night fever. La fiebre de sábado por la noche como BGs. Okay, good. Fever. Let's listen to Luis Martinez, okay? Any special pain or illness? And then Alex. Mm -hmm. So, Luis? Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Well, that's really disgusting. Bastante desagradable, but it's part of the life. If you eat a lot of curtido. Many cocktail de conchas. How many <laughs> shell cocktail? Yeah, with a lot of pepper, and all those ingredients. Good. Alex, and then Olga. So, Alex, can you mention... Hello, Alex. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Can you mention any, any illness or pain that is common with you or in your family? Yeah. Um, to that, that's... Ah, toothache. Oh. Yeah. Toothache. And that is really painful. Si es doloroso eso. Exactly. Well, let's see. Olga. Hello. Hi, Olga. good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, mm -hmm. The frequency of cold. Cold. Mm -hmm. Cold. Resfriado. Okay. That's it. And Jolie and then Angel. Mm -hmm. In my case, a rush teacher. A rush, really. What affects you? ¿Qué te afecta? The uh, sun. The heat, I eat so much uh, candies. Candies. Sugar. Uh, so sugar. Much sugar. Sugar daddy. Okay. Yeah. Candies and no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Candies depends, but you can eat some of them. Puedes comer algunos, ¿ya? Yeah? Es que sí me gustan los dulces y yo los como, pero al comer demasiada azúcar. Te eh, íbamos a regalar todo, te íbamos a regalar. I'm sorry. La... I'm no, no, sorry. no, claro. Los vas a vender. Okay. Despacito lo puedo ir comiendo. <laughs> okay. Ángel, uh, then Eric. <laughs> 
Ángel. Eh, Clinimation. Eh, cold. Cold. Eh, ¿cómo, se, cold. ¿Cómo se dirá alérgico? Yo soy alérgico. Alérgico. Aler you are allergic. Aler but to what? To the dust, el polvo. You are allergic, allergic to. Rhinitis. <laughs> ah, rhinitis. You have problems with your yeah. nose. So you get, you get constipated. Problem uh, all uh, for me. <laughs> okay, listen. You you have like constipation. Se te tapa la nariz. You're constipated. Yes. Well, that's really difficult when you practice sports, right? If you practice sport, that's really mm -hmm, difficult. Okay. okay, let's listen to uh, Eric and okay. then Francis. In my case, I think the common illness is the flu. The flu. Well, yeah. it is usually, well, that happens uh, like frequently. Uh, for example, at least twice a month, twice a year. Twice. Oh, okay. But that's normal. Yeah. It's it, normal. Yeah. The parameter, it, it is normal, but it is not so good, right? Well, yes. Well, thank you, Francis. And then uh, Wendy. So, Francis, in your case? In my, in my case, Hedashi. Uh, headache, headache, headache. Mm -hmm. oh, well, you have headaches uh, very, very often, I guess. Bien, muy a menudo. Depends. Depends. I, I had much, I had much hair, and then my hair is. Do you? How do you say húmedo? Wet. Mm -hmm. My hair is wet. Ah, okay. When you. Si me lo amarro húmedo. Si me lo amarro húmedo. No se me seca bien y. Well, that affects you. When your hair is wet, that affects you. Okay. I'm yes. sorry. Ya ves, los colochos cuestan caro. Wendy, and then Carolina. Hello. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Hello, Wendy. A headache. A headache. Well, mm -hmm. is that common with you? Es común? Yes. Well, okay. I'm so sorry to hear that. Carolina? Hi. Hi. A cold. Cold. Okay. Um, I have heard, he escuchado, that it is really common that women suffer uh, from headache a lot, okay? That happens, especially, I'm, I'm sorry for, for, for you. And uh, we have uh, this question. How are you? You can say fine, as that is very common, or you can say sick, that it's a negative. You can say, how are you today? Good or awful, awful. And how do you feel? Great, terrible. How do you feel today? Fantastic, miserable. But in this case, if you say I'm sick, or I feel sick, or not so good, or not very well, si contestan de esta manera, because you are not okay, porque no están bien. You can say what's the matter? What's wrong? For example, uh, if I ask you, in this case, to Olga. Bien, Olga, me vas a contestar con una de estas. Cualquiera de ustedes que les pregunte me van a contestar con una de estas y me van a decir uno de estos eh, dolores o enfermedades, ¿ok? Ok, Olga, mm, how do you feel? I feel sick. Really? What's the matter? Mm -hmm. I have, yo tengo, y me dice cualquiera de todas estas. Mm -hmm. I, Sorry, I, uh -huh. I have I have, I have headache. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Or you can say I've got. Este I've got eh, es una forma informal para decir have. Okay, I've got. Oh, I got. Mm -hmm. And this case I have sort of throat. Let's listen to Blanca. How are you today, Blanca? I, I, I'm, I'm sick. 
I'm sick. Okay. I'm sick. Okay. What's wrong? A uh, cold. Mm -hmm. uh, cold. Cool. Ah, cold. I, I I have I okay. I have a call or I've got a call. Okay, Eric. Uh, teacher, I'm sorry. Yeah. Tengo una pregunta. El I've got mm -hmm. no se puede confundir con el presente perfecto. No. Es si dijera I've got gotten con ah, al gotten, participio, ajá, verdad. Gotten, con el participio, yeah, participio. Ajá. Ajá. Ah, okay. Porque si te pregunto, eh, Eric, where have you been during this week? ¿Dónde has estado? Well, I have been sick. He estado enfermo. También puedo decir, I have gotten the flu. ¿Verdad? Yo como que yo he tenido gripe. Se podría. Pero el sick, el sick en, en pasado, sick. Eh, sick, como es un sustantivo, eh, sería como, no, no cambia. I have, I have been, el been. I have been sick. Ajá, el been, si cambia, es, es participio. Uh -huh. okay. No, Pero, yo le, me refería al have got. Ajá, podría decir, I have gotten. The flu. Pero siempre está hablando en presente, ¿verdad? Eh, no, porque si decís I have gotten, es como que hace esto. Ah, ya, el, el, presente, el presente perfecto. Perfecto. Por no, si pero el, ha, el I've got es presente normal. Es presente normal. Es una okay. manera informal de decir, por ejemplo, ah, you, got a, uh, you got a study, you've got to. Tú tienes que, you, have, you got a study harder, ¿verdad? Tienes que okay. estudiar más, eh, más pesado, más, más, con más intensidad. Entonces, eh, you've got es como el you have to. I've got, okay. I've got it. Okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, how do you feel today, Eric? Um, feel sick. Oh, really? What's the matter? I have a fever. Nice. Luis Martinez, how are you? Not very well, teacher. Oh, really? What's wrong? <clears throat> I got the health problem. I feel the stomach aches. Okay, that's nice. Entonces, este, esta es una manera, thank you. That's a really uh, easy form to express that you are not okay, that you feel some illness or any pain. So, in this case, if you can call for, well, you call to your, to your job and you say that you are, you are sick. Pero que en este caso no es tan fácil llamar aquí en el país, ¿verdad? Y decir que estás enfermo. So, let's go. Where is your workplace? ¿Dónde está su lugar de trabajo? Ok. So, you can say, if you know, if you know the streets or the avenue, that, that could be really helpful. But, it, but if not, you can mention... Ah, it is uh, my workplace. It's in front of Price Mart. It is in front of Metro Center. I don't know, uh, whatever. So you can use these ones, these uh, prepositions of place, or you can say, uh, my workplace is located in, está ubicado en, you can say, Apopa, Guad, Alta Vista, San Salvador, hmm, like in, in that case, but, if you have any special store or business, you can mention it. Pueden mencionarlo. Okay? So let's listen to Jolie. Where is your workplace, Jolie? <sighs> My work is in front uh, Mercado, ¿cómo se dice? Marketplace. Market. Mm -hmm. On market. 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 In front of market um, next to La Casa de la Cultura. Ah, okay. Casa Cultura, that's and, a proper name. Mm -hmm. And downtown. De in Olo downtown. Cultura. Good. That's good. Nice. Si, te, si nos debes pisto, ya sabemos dónde te cobramos. Good. <laughs> ya no voy a estar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Really? Well, ya vamos a ver si es cierto. Uh, Luis Borja, tell, tell us about your workplace. Your enterprise, um, what, what is your workplace? Okay, teacher. Um, my work um, is from um, Santa Tecla. Ah, it is in Santa Tecla. Nice. Next to yeah. any, any business, any store mm -hmm. in front of the park. Mm -hmm. um, 
sobre la ¿cómo es sobre la calle principal on on, on main ah, street on. Ajá, main es on, principal on main street on main okay. street eh, al ver on main street Ok, y, y, al, puerto, al puerto de la libertad, quería decirle. Ah, puerto, really. Calle, calle ajá. Main Street. Uh -huh. Sí. Ok. Main so, how far, qué tan lejos, how far is Puerto de la Libertad from your work? Um, oh, I mean, at 45 minutes, one hour, five minutes. Um, ¿Qué tan lejos está? It is far One, or close? Cerca o lejos? Far, far away. Eh, a mí quiero ver. 13. Eh, um, one hour. Oh, one hour. Okay. Uh, one hour. Thank you. That's good. Hello, Hi. Anna. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Mm -hmm. Hello, how are you doing? Okay. Ahí que te estaba rascando. Everything okay? ¿Todo bien? Bien. Dale, seguí, dale. Ok. So, what is your workplace, Ana? My, my, my work is a real. Pero me quiero hacerlo en grande, que no miro. Uh -huh. Les recomiendo que lo pongan, si saben, con teléfono, de manera horizontal. Pueden verlo más. Ajá. So, uh -huh. Dice, my work, my work uh, in... Place is in... Or you can mention the, the department. The, Sería prácticamente between. Between. Ajá, entre between. qué? Between what? Porque está okay. como en medio. Between, tienes que decir los dos lugares o dos referentes, ¿ok? Ay. Ok, I'm going to give you some time. Te daré algo de tiempo, ¿ok? Bah, sí. Okay. Déjame. Nice. Alex. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Where is your workplace? Hi. Yeah. Where is your workplace? I am um, I work in um it's an extension on extension or street arts. Eh? Ah, okay. A number 22, 23. So, suburb, suburb white flower San Salvador. Okay, suburb mm -hmm. white flower. Okay, San Salvador. Ah, very specific. So, thank you. You did your homework. Good. So, let's listen to now. ¿Quién se me escondió? Norma. Ajá, Norma. Así se esconden lo que me deben. Pistol, mira. Okay, Norma. Where is your workplace? Eh, hi teacher, perdón, mm -hmm. pero estoy con la bebé. No problem. Capaz ella le va a eh, preguntar. My work mm -hmm. is en el escalón. In, ah, uh, in escalón. It is in okay. el cumbres del escalón. Ah, ok. That's it. So, ok. Thank you. Let's uh, continue with... Um, We're going to use there is and there are, que es un tema muy, bueno, es el tema principal de ahora. It's, it's, it is not so complicated, no es tan complicado, ¿verdad? So, pueden ver, ¿verdad? Todo el cuadrito. There is and there are. Significa allí está o hay. Cuando quieren demostrar que hay algo o ahí está algo. So, there is is for singular, there are is for plural. Let's focus on positive. There is a table. Allí está una mesa o oh, hay una mesa. There are two desks. Allí están dos escritorios o oh, hay dos escritorios. There, it means eh, ahí or allí. Both meanings. Cualquiera de los dos significados. There is, there are. Okay. So, if we, let's see here, I'm sorry, uh, there is a, o oh, there are, y lo decimos en plural, ¿verdad? 
Um, repito, si quiero mencionar, oops, 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 oops. I'm sorry. This thing is really crazy. Okay, I'm sorry. This is really crazy. Um, there is and there are. Mm -hmm. Vamos a practicarlo. Okay, microphone off. There is a table. There are two desks. Si queremos decir que ahí hay un libro, podemos decir there is a book, ¿verdad? Pero si queremos decir que hay un elefante, diríamos there is an elephant, ¿verdad? An, porque viene vocal en la e, elephant. Podemos decir there are two cars, hay dos carros, o there are two bikes, eh, dos bicicletas, ¿ok? Bien, le vamos a dar una primera review, una primera repasada a lo que es there is and there are. Vean, look at this picture and select some objects that you can see and let's describe the bedroom. Vamos a describir el, el dormitorio. ¿Qué cosas ven ahí? There is and there are. Vamos a estudiar eso en dos momentos. Mm -hmm. So, identify first Look and identify some common objects, ¿ok? Objetos comunes que ustedes pueden ver, ¿verdad? Uh, mm -hmm. Tennis racket, adult, muñeca, teddy bear, crayons, color, bike, ball, backpack, lamp, ¿ok? Agenda or notebook. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Vamos con alguna fácil. Francis, can you mention one? There is a... Or oh, there are. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. There is a BC. A bike or a bicycle. A bike. There is a bike in the bedroom. There is a bike in the bedroom. Thank you. That's good. Jolly, please. And then my, Olga. There are there are two chairs. In the bedroom. There are two, two chairs in the bedroom. Thank you. Okay, Olga, and then Irma. There are the books. Okay, the there, there are, mm -hmm. there are, uh, we can, okay, there are the books. Mm -hmm. Pero normalmente tenemos que especificar un número, okay? Let's say, for example, there are two books, three books, or more. Or seven books? Six. Six, six. books. Okay, let's, let's, yes, talk about, six books. let's talk about six books. Okay, let's see, uh, Angel, you go, and then, and, oh, sorry, Irma, you go, and then Angel. There is seven pencils. Ah, okay, there are, there are there, seven pencils. There are, uh -huh. Pencils. pencils. Nice. There are seven pencils. Three, uh, three. three in the box mm -hmm. uh -huh. or, mm -hmm. or in the case. Mm -hmm. And one chair, one chair, two. Yeah, but because the others, maybe these, these are like colors, I guess. Okay, oh. uh, Angel and then Wendy. There is a bell. In the in the bed. In the bedroom. Mm -hmm. There's a bed in the bedroom. That's nice. Wendy and then Liliana. There is a bed. Okay. Nuevamente, there is a bed in the bedroom. Good. Liliana and then Alex. Uh, good evening, good evening. Uh, teacher. Estamos utilizando el there is para decir que ahí hay algo o ahí está. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or there are, si es plural. Okay. Uh, there is um, a table. There is a table in the bedroom. Perfect. In the bedroom. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, Alex. And okay. then. There, there is a picture in the bedroom. Okay. There is a picture in the bedroom. Thank you. Okay. Luis Borja en Blanca. Okay, teacher. Um, there is a um, table and chair. 
in the bedroom. Okay. There, uh -huh, there is a table and there is a chair. Mm -hmm. And there is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the bedroom. Blanca and mm -hmm. please. There and is, then Luis Martinez. There is, there is a lamp. There is a lamp. Perfect. Nice. There is a lamp. The bedroom. Luis Martinez and then Eric, please. There are three stuffed animals in the bedroom. Oh, okay. Nice. Eric? There is a clock in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Ahora le vamos a agregar las prepositions. Le vamos a decir, there is, por ejemplo, there is a doll on the chair. Hay una, ¿cómo se llama? Una muñeca sobre la mesa. Ok. Vamos a utilizar los que son eh, these ones. La silla, teacher. Mm -hmm. yes. Ah, vos vas con la silla. Ok. No, usted dijo que había una muñeca sobre la mesa. Ah, I'm sorry. Estoy loco. There is a doll on the chair. No dije así. On the table. Sí, en inglés sí dijo así, pero en español dijo sobre la mesa. No sé por qué estoy pensando estas cosas. Okay. Su ex, como siempre. No, no es mi ex, es el hambre. I'm starving. Estoy muriendo de hambre. Ahí sí. Soy la víctima hoy. Ok, so... Vaya, Francis, ya que me estás troleando. Bien, vos comenzás. So, in this case, Francis, sí, sí. vamos a utilizar las prepositions, ¿verdad? ¿Te acuerdas? Next okay. to, a la par de, in front yes. of, in front of. Mm -hmm. Bye. There is a horse. I no recuerdo cómo se dice oso. There, there is, is a, a, a teddy bear. Mm -hmm. There is a teddy bear on the bed. On the bed. Perfect. Thank you. Ok, Eric, help us. And then Norma. Uh, there are two balls on the floor. There, there are two balls on the on the floor. Perfect. Norma and then Ana Solis. Esa carita me llega. Um, <laughs> the ball on the floor. Mm -mm. There is, there are, y después me vas oh, a decir. There, there is the ball. In front to racket. Okay, there is a ball in front of. In front, front of, of the racket. Perfect. In front of the racket. Oh, mira qué vista más panorámica la que tenés. <laughs> Ana, la que no quería. There is a, um, a pencil. Okay, there is a pencil. Uh -huh. mm. There is a pencil. Hay un, un, un lápiz. Uh -huh. Um, sobre, on, 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 the table. Table. on the table, si sí, tiene que ser, ¿verdad? no será marcador, no será un marker. Uh -huh. Porque estaba viendo el de abajo. Es que este, mira, Ajá. ya ves cómo nos mentías, Ana. No nos mentías. No, no, no. <risa> Debajo de la mesa hay un lápiz, pero en la segunda pel peldaño. No, estoy, ese sería en el suelo. Yo estoy viendo el de aquí. Esta es Anita es mala, esta Anita es como tergiversa. <risa> Ok, there is a table. There is a, is a table. Yo voy con la mesa. There is a pencil. Quizás on the... el de la silla. Mm -hmm. Algún pecado está cobrando. No, ¿por qué no me pasa nada todavía? Todavía. Ok, thank you. Ay, nerviosa me pone. Ya vea, te está rascando otra sí. vez. Thank you. Olga, ya que se echó el traguito ahí. Ok, ya agarramos valor, Olga. Ok, there is, there are. <laughs> Pero de agua, this is the water. No, it's not sorry, the water. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next week, la, la otra semana. Okay. Uh, yes. Yes. And my happy birthday. And my oh. birthday. And the birthday, chaparro. Good. So? Uh, there is a lamp mm -hmm. in the, in the, on the uh, draw or table. No, draw, uh, no. draw, draw or table. Solo que draw se utiliza más para la ropa. Ese puede ser like a nightstand, stand. No, puede ser. Tal vez ropa interior también. Ok. Thank you, Olga. <laughs> We're going to continue later uh, with this topic. But first, um, we have like, uh, we have another topic. As I uh, told you yesterday, ways uh, to ask for address para pedir a uh, La, la dirección. Mm -hmm. So, excuse me, can you tell me the way to the museum? Excuse me, how do I get to the post office? Pardon me, I'm lost. How do I get to the cafe? Please tell me how 
I get to your apartment. So in this case, we have giving directions. When you say uh, directions, you mentioned the blocks. Pueden mencionar las, ¿cómo se llama? Las cuadras, blocks. You can talk about streets or you can talk about turning to the right, turning to the left. Verta girar a la derecha, a la izquierda. Okay. So go. Ve, ¿verdad? Go along. Ve a lo largo de. Go straight. Ve este, directo. Nosotros decimos recto. Dale recto, ¿verdad? Todo. Uh, it is uh, better to say go straight. Ve, ve derecho. Walk down. Camina, ¿verdad? Camina uh, sobre. Y mencionamos las calles. Walk along. Podemos decir eh, camina a lo largo de. Walk along three streets o three blocks. Uh, walk straight. Camina, pues. Eh, derecho, pero no caminar así como soldado, sino que caminar pues en esa dirección. Turn right, girar a la derecha. Turn left, girar a la izquierda. Turn the corner, girar este, ¿cómo se llama? O oh, doblar a la esquina, girar. Eh, if you can have a screenshot, it would be great. Si pueden tomar una captura de pantalla, pues este, nos va a servir en este momento. We're going to talk about directions eh, very briefly. Muy brevemente. Salude, pues. Ya. Cuando suena la vaca Lola, así me pongo. Ok. Ready. ¿Estamos listos? Yes. Let's talk about this. How do I get? Como llego, ¿verdad? Podemos decir... Can you tell me the way to the museum? Or how do I get to the... This will be a fácil. How do I get to the... Let's see. Lo vamos a preguntar acá. Vamos a estar... Aquí vamos a estar. Entre el banco y la flower shop. Okay? Aquí vamos a estar. So, let's see... ¿Quién le pregunto? ¿Quién tenga cara de inocente? Ay, ya, ya quedaron tranquilos. Bro. Ok, let's see. Olga. Cara de inocente. We are here. Estamos acá. Olga, how do I get to the supermarket? ¿Cómo llego al supermercado? Ay, con eso. Aquí. Ok, how do I get to the supermarket? ¿Cómo llego al supermercado? Aquí estoy. Si dices go o walk, podemos mencionar esta avenida. Uh -huh. Go, go to. Uh -huh. o go. Go on. Uh -huh. Go on, go on, Rosa eh, Silva Avenue. Ajá, voy acá. ¿Y cómo digo girar a la izquierda? Turn, turn left. Yes, and turn left. Good. Porque si no me voy a ir directo a saber para dónde. Ok, thank you. Good. Let's listen to Eric. Eric, how do I get to the fast food restaurant? Sorry, sorry teacher. Yep. Sorry, teacher. Eh, Olga, Olga fue la que participó, ¿verdad? Yep. Ok. Eh, Olga, say on Rosa e Silva Avenue uh -huh. to... to To rest, left. To left, okay. Left. Eh, no mention, no, no mention eh, Amelia Street. Who corner? O oh, what well, corner? Uh -huh. Podría decir, sí, podría mencionarla, ¿verdad? Hasta, no, hasta. Uh -huh. Quizás lo que sería acá sería go on Rosa Avenue, one block, una cuadra. Ok. And turn. Yes. Eso le faltó posiblemente. Okay. Okay, thank very, you. very good. Thank you, Luis. So, podemos mencionarle blocks, ¿verdad? Que es cuadra. Uh, porque ya sabemos que street es acá la calle and this is the avenue. So, in this case, Eric, if I want to go to the fast food restaurant, what okay. could be the direction? Um, go ahead mm -hmm. on Rosa e Silva Avenue. Okay. One I'm block. Sure. One, one block. block. Yeah. And then... Uh, left turn, mm -hmm. turn, turn left. Yes, uh, on Amelie, Amelia Street. Yes, and then turn right. 
Uh -huh. En fast food restaurant. Yes, porque sería acá. Uh -huh. Turn left, turn right. Thank you. Turn right. Yes. That's good. Luis Martinez, how do I get to the restaurant? I'm here. Como yo le dije, va. Go on. Rosa de Silva Avenue. Yes. Go on. This is Avenue. To Amelia Street. Mm -hmm. Store in the corner. In the corner, to right. Okay. Go. Mm -hmm. Go until, mm -hmm. until Amelia Street. Yes. Hasta acá. Perfect. That's nice. Let's listen to. Vamos a ver. Jolie, para que no se me duerme. Jolie, I want to go to the school. Mm. How do I get to the school? I cross um, Santos Don Street and walk down Rosa Silva Avenue and cross. Mm, Turn left. Ay, Turn left. Sí. Turn yes. Left. Okay. Uh -huh. Amelia Street. Okay. Podemos decir on the corner of on Amelia Street. On the corner. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. Let's listen to Angel. Angel, I want to go to the restaurant. Quiero ir al restaurante. Any... Restaurant. Ah, uh, yes. Here. Here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I am here. I I work. Okay. Uh, Aven Avenues Rosa Silva. Okay. Uh, in front of, in front of park. No, super supermarket. Sorry. Okay, in from supermarket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, it. Okay. You can mention turn the right, mm -hmm. or or look at the supermarket, or look at in front of the supermarket. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Okay. So um, we're going to continue with uh, the topic because uh, we have some other, we have some other what exercises. So in this case, from the book or the manual del manual, tenemos there is singular, there are. Ya lo avanzamos, ¿verdad? Ya sabemos que es there is and there are. So Ana Solis, ¿me puedes ayudar leyendo? No me hagas esa carita, no. Ajá. Como que se está tomando algo fuerte, Anita. Ajá. There is. <laughs> There is um, ATM. ATM across the street. Thank you. Continue aquí. There are. There are a lot of companies down the street. Ok, thank you. ATM significa cajero automático. Good. Liliana, can you help me please? Number two. There's. There's. Uh, recruitment. Recru recru perdón. Recruitment. Sin la I. Recruitment. Recruitment center on the corner. Corner of Roosevelt. Deire. Ah, of oh, 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 Roosevelt Street. Ah, okay. Roosevelt Street. And First Avenue. And First Avenue, perfect. There are some. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side, side. of the street. Okay, there are supermarkets on the right, right and left side of the street. Thank you. Okay. And Blanca, can you help me? There's no. Blanca, Blanquita. <laughs> there no clothing factory around, around the corner. Around the corner. corner. Mm -hmm. Ah, the corner. There are. There are, there are no hospital. 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 Hospital on Barry Street. On Barry Street. Okay, thank you. I'm going to check the attendance list. Please say hello and we, I start with Alex, okay? So Alex, yes. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ana Solis, la que me hace carita, que se me hizo. Uh -huh. Ana, yes, are you there, right? Ya va a aparecer. Okay, Ángel. 
Present, teacher. Thank you. Blanca? No. No. Carlos Escamilla? No. Carolina? Carolina? Present, me levanté, perdón. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Es que tengo hambre. Yo también, me too. So Estoy do I. trabajando en la oficina. So do I. I am hungry too. Puedo decir también. Eh, Carolina. Carolina, Carolina. Bueno, well, ya aparece. Hi, hi, hi. Ah, hi, thank you. Hi, hi. Eric. I'm yes. here. Thank you. Francis. Ah. I am here, teacher. I'm pretty, está respirando. Irma, la de yes. la Butterfly. I live present. Good. Julián. Hello, Julián. Hello. Hello, good evening. Laura. Hello. Hello. It's me we're looking for. Luis Martinez. Sí, I am teacher. I am here. Thank you, Luis Borja. Present teacher. Thank you. Nancy Carolina. Nancy. No la, no la he visto ahora, Nancy. Ok. Uh, Nelson. Mm, Norma. The babysitter. I'm here. La niñera. I'm here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sí. Así toca. ¿Cuándo el otro? Po? Ok. Olga. No, no, no. Ya quedó curada, dice. Ok. Uh, Olga, hello. Hi. Hi. Walter Borjas. No. Wendy. Yes, Wendy. Hello. Hello. And Jolie. ¿Por qué me deja de último? Esa es la última de la lista, mujer. I'm sorry. Está <laughs> la prueba, ¿verdad? <laughs> Por la verdad, murió <laughs> Okay. Está bueno, pues, pero dice que los últimos serán los primeros. Dice la palabra, pero si crees, mujer. Si no, ok. Obvio. Che, uh -huh. ¿por qué no pasa lista? Es un requerimiento. Ah. Este, son órdenes de ahí arriba. Así que, pues. Yo... No, yo, yo preguntaba porque, como el Zoom, el del Zulito, este da. Uh -huh. Ahí, este, sí, sí, como que, que te da la, la, la lista, quién ha estado, pero es un requerimiento. Ajá, quién, ha, quién uh -huh. ha estado y el tiempo que ha estado. Yes, y, a ellos, y a ellos les llega todos esos minutos, quienes han Ajá. estado. Uh -huh. Pero sí. no los piden, ¿verdad? Así bueno. es la vida, lo siento, I'm sorry. <risa> Solo era una pregunta. Ah, chico. vaya, Francis. Una curiosidad, una curiosidad. La, la curiosidad, ya saben lo que le pasó al gatito. Que tener cuidado. Pero nadie sabe que si valió la pena lo que el gatito vio. Mira, Olga, a ver qué ha descubierto. Olga. Ok, um, let's see. There is and there are. Así que ya tenemos claro su uso. También lo podemos, eh, pues, contractar. Miren, aquí estaba en la segunda erupción, eh, erupción, oración. There's, ¿verdad? En lugar de there is, there's. Muy bien. So, complete the exercise with there is or there are in a quantifier. El quantifier podría ser some o podría ser no. Ahora, en este caso, quiero comentarles algo. Podemos decir there is no clothing factory. O también se puede decir there is not clothing factory. Pueden ser de las dos maneras. Como una forma positiva, pero que lleva un no, que la hace negativa, o simplemente there is not. ¿Verdad? So, vamos a seguir esos casos. Uh, let's see, Julián, can you help me with number one? Uh, there, there is or there are? ¿Qué there qué? is. There is a marketing, a marketing presentation across, across the street in the morning. In the morning, that's it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, number two, let's listen to. Irma, can you help me, please? There is or there are. Veamos primero. Business workshops. Sería there are. Perfect. There are. This is, this, there are. This there is are. Mira, uh -huh. There are. Some. Some business. 
defense workshop down down the street perfect thanks alex can you help me with number three please um Vamos a decir, there is o there are y el no. There, there, there are. There are. Recruit, no, recruitment. Centers. Center around my building. My building, perfect. Muy bien, utilizaste there are porque está recruitment centers. Este plural te dio la idea. Igual que a Norma, workshops, esto le dio la idea del plural. Let's see. Ángel, can you help me with the four, please? There, there, there is, is a store on ah. the corner of. Hay que utilizar. No, no, there, uh -huh. Esta, there uh, is no store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. 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 Perfect. Street. Street. Perfect. Liliana, number five, please. Could you help me? Um, there is or there are. There are mm -hmm. items bowling. Okay, no, come on. Uh, we are number five. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. No problem. <laughs> Todo el tiempo perdido. <laughs> no, así no pasa a mí. Eh, sería, quiero ver, banks. There is banks. Ah, uh, iba bien. There. There is. Ok, como estamos hablando de banks, es plural. Ok. Daters. Ok, uh, estamos hablando de plural. There is, is, is for singular, and there are, is for plural. So. Ok, entonces sería, eh, they are. There are, bank, there are banks. Banks, building. Behind, recuerda, prepositions, atrás. Ok. Behind. Behind the factory, I work. I work. Thank you. Luis Martinez, you're going to help me with number. Mira, number one. It, could, it should be. Debería ser number six. Luis, please. There is a Raza building around the corner. Muy bien. Pero como a Araza, a, a Raza o Aranza es vocal, sería a o sería Aranza. An. Aranza. An. 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 Yes, there is an Arasa building, or a building around the corner. Okay, now it's time for the speaking activity. Ah, antes que nada, una retroalimentación. There is, aquí estamos, ¿verdad? Positive. If we talk about negative, we can say there isn't. There isn't or there aren't. Mm -hmm. Ahora vamos a hacer una actividad con respecto a esto. Let's see. Me van a decir que no hay acá. For example, there isn't an elephant in the bedroom. No hay un elefante en el cuarto. Okay. So let's talk about uh, different things. Whatever word comes to your mind, but that article doesn't have to be in the, in the bedroom. Cualquier cosa que no esté ahí lo vamos a mencionar, pero con negativo. Okay. So be ready. Think about it. And help me, Norma. There is an amigo. Hola. Hello there. There is, there is an amigo in the bedroom. There is an a? Mirror. mirror. Ah, mirror. Un espejo. Mm -hmm. There is an a mirror yeah. mm -hmm. in the bedroom. Perfect. That's it. Thank you. Norma and then Angel. There is not, ¿verdad? Puede ser there is not también. There is not. There is, there is not a sofa. A sofa in the yes. bedroom. Sofa es tan importante in esa cosa. Es tan importante. Mm -hmm. hmm. Ok. Ángel, and then Ana Solís. Quiero ver la carita, Ana. Yes. <laughs> That's good. Ok, Ángel. There is not uh, a food. In the bedroom. Okay. Podría ser ahí, there is no food. O there is not food. Mm -hmm. Porque como food es, food es un, es, podría ser una, una palabra como colectiva. O sea, no es necesariamente que se pueda cuantificar. Ajá, there is not food in the bedroom. 
Thank you, Angel. Ana, and okay. then Blanca. Dicen eh, a cat. In the bedroom. The bedroom. Ah, ya ves que podés, mujer. Okay. Eh, Blanca, and then Liliana. And then Olga. La Trinidad mencionó. Uh -huh. Blanca. There is a car in the bedroom. There isn't, there isn't. Ah, there isn't a car, a car in the bedroom. Perfect. Liliana and then Olga. There is a not a dog in the bedroom. Uh -huh. There is not, there is not a dog. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. There is not a, not a dog in the bedroom. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Olga and then Jolie. There are there are not the shoes. Okay, the there are not shoes. There are not shoes in the bedroom. Bien curioso que no hay zapatos. Curioso, it's really curious. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yolanda and then Luis Martinez. <laughs> there is an, a boy in the bedroom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, Luis Martinez, then Eric. There is not a TV in the bedroom. Yeah, that's really important. And there is not a TV. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. But uh, Eric and then Wendy. There is an a motorcycle in the bedroom. <laughs> Definitely there is an a motorcycle. Good. Uh, let's see who else. ¿Quién le dije? Wendy, Wendy and then Luis Borja. They aren't clothes. They aren't, okay, they aren't clothes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The bedroom, good. Thank you, Luis Borja and then Julián. Okay, teacher. There is not a computer in the bedroom. Perfect. Julián and then Carolina. And there is not window in the bedroom. Okay, there is not a window in the bedroom. A window in the okay. bedroom. Me imagino el calor que hace ahí. Carolina, come on. There are no children. There are no children. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Como que si fuera Anabel esta, algún que está embrujado. Yeah, there are no children. And let's see. ¿Qué me falta? Carolina, and then, yeah, Carolina, and, and we are finished. I guess. Caro. Lina. Hello. Hello there. Uh -huh. Una negativa. Eh, ¿Qué no hay acá? Hoy se la acabo de decir, teacher. Mm. They, they are no children. Ah, there are no children. Yo, estoy, yo creo que estoy quedando de mente. El amor. Este el amor. grupo, este grupo de <ríe> amor me ha afectado. No, yo creo psicológicamente. que. Oigan bien lo que les estoy diciendo. Ok. Uh, es la ex teacher. Mm, no, no, este grupo, este grupo. Tanto que ¿no? promueve a su ex, que ya estamos clavados todos. Pues sí, a, si no la menciona usted, tenemos que mencionarla. No, no, la no, mujer del mal ya no la menciona. Maybe, maybe somebody, teacher. No, 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 nobody. Come on. No, nobody, nadie. Okay, o la okay. ex tiene algún nombre de nosotras. Oiga, dice, oiga. Puede ser. Ah, bueno, bueno, Aprendan a los caballeros, miren, tranquilitos. Eh. Como saben, el sufrimiento de uno, la empatía, pero ustedes <risa> no saben de empatía. Como la tienen a la par, quizás, T-shirt. Pues son fieles, hombres fieles. Uh -huh. No pueden decir nada porque si no los casaron, les voy a decir a la gente de aquí, de, 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 de inglés corporativo, que les ayude por eso. Ok. What was the first job you get paid for? Let's imagine the first job. Because we have had a lot of jobs. Hemos tenido muchos trabajos. And some of them have been for free. Algunos han sido de choto, ¿verdad? Por gusto hemos pagado, por gusto hemos trabajado. But let's talk about the first job that you remember you got paid for. Okay? So, the first job I got paid for. O simplemente pueden mencionar, my first job was, mi primer trabajo fue, y lo menciona. Any volunteers? Me teacher. Sí, me. vamos a hablar pues del billete que hemos hecho, Irma. Uh -huh. ah, sí. ¿Qué, Irma? Okay, Irma. My first. First. My first. Job, my first. My first job. 
is where I work. Mm -hmm. Is when uh -huh. I work. It's when I work, I uh, I start I started. Mm -hmm. Started. When, uh -huh, we started when it was. Sorry. Uh, Sixteen or fifteen. Oh. 15 years old. Ah, you were 15 years old. Tenía yes. 15. Mm, innocencia. Okay, uh, innocence. 15 years um, old. I, start, I started as waiter assistant. As a waitress. Porque era como me said. Ah, sí, wa as a waitress, waitress assistant. Good. Yes. So you have, ah, please, you have more. Okay. Uh, then I was a cashier. And same thing, I have this been working uh, 24, 24 years in the same place. Okay, good. So you have a lot of experience in One that area. Trabajo. Yes. The, uh, first uh, working. Mm -hmm. Uh, only, only work. <laughs> ah, the only work. So you have work in the same area, in, in the same place. Yes. Uh, I have, I work in uh, 24 years. Ah, you have been working for 24, 24 years. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's a lot of work. Es mucho trabajo and a lot of experience. Thank you, Irma. Yes. Very detailed uh, your experience. Good. Ok, next. ¿Quién más se va a confesar conmigo? Mi. Uh -huh. mm. Diga su pecado. <risa> what, what, what was the first job I got paying for as an assistant accountant? Mm. And they, I got nine years old. Nine. Work Nine years old, nueve. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, working and there was my school. Ah, good. So you started pretty young. Bien jovencita comenzaste. Yeah. Ah. Uh, 18. De... Ah, 18. Es que yo escuché nine. 18 nueve, years yo. or. Explotación no, infantil, no. dije. Ok, ok. 19 <laughs> years 18 years old, yes. 18, yes. Perfect. Thank you, Liliana. A lot okay. of experience. Siempre has tenido ese tipo de experiencia. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. That era. Thanks. Uh, someone else? Okay, me. Please. Okay, uh, Alex and then Luis. Okay, my, my first job was um, boss at maintains in the factory. Okay. Boss maintenance in a factory. In the same factory you are working today? No. In a different? Uh, different, exactly. Okay. How old wa were you? ¿Cuántos años? Um, or, uh -huh, how long? How long? Um, how much time ago? Um, I was working in, in this job um, for uh, three years. For three years, okay. Yeah. You were 18, in, 20. In my job, in my, in my, in my job present, uh, I have um, 15 years. 15 years of experience. That, oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you, Alex. Thank Very you. nice. Uh, sure. Luis Martinez, your turn. Okay, teacher. Uh, my first job was in La Nueva Tapachulteca. Mm. Along... A supermarket. Year, a long 30 year, a long 30, 30 a year. Mm -hmm. There my work was packing the product, clean the store, mm -hmm. and my the other obligation. Okay, different responsibility. How yes. old were you, Luis? How old? You were 17 years 21. old? 21. 21, very innocent, young yes. man. That's it. Well, Tapachulteca, I remember that name. 
it, it, is, it was the name of a supermarket, a very famous supermarket. Yes. Yeah, I remember. Okay. Thanks, Luis. And some other person? Me? Come on. Okay. Your turn. When I was, when I was 18 years old, mm -hmm. my first job was carpentry. Ah, good. Is the is the better pronunciation? Ah, huh? is the okay. better pronunciation? Carpentry. Yeah. Carpentry. Carpentry. Carpenter. Carpenter is a person who works uh -huh. with woods and all those uh -huh, materials. Yes. In a, a a familiar business. Yes, my my family own business. Ah, oh, really? Your father was a Your, carpenter. Yes, my father, my father taught me. Whoa. Okay, how much time did you have? Uh, oh, how much time were you working as a carpenter? And I remembered at least nine years old. Mm, there's a lot of time. So yes. you know about, you know a lot about uh, working with wood. Yes, yes, of course. Processes. But at the moment, I don't work. Hey, you don't like it? Or yes, I, I like I like it because uh, I have other situation. Mm, okay, that's mm -hmm. good. Okay, thank you. Yes. Very yes. very interesting from you. Good. And now let's go with the last one. By the moment, el último por este momento y vamos a otro tema. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Wendy. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. then Luis Martinez. Okay. In my first job, I was nine years old. Okay. I was a dressmaker. My first job paid for was in a Sedwin workshop. Okay. So you know about dressing? You know how to, to design or create dresses or clothes? Sabes sobre ropa? Sí, yes. So, okay. Sí. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry. You said nine years. Tenías nueve años. Así o es. hace nueve años. No. You were, Tenía nueve años. You were a, a child. Okay. Sí. Well, a lot of experience. Thank you. Uh, very awesome. Luis Borja, your turn, and we continue with the conversation. Yes, it's, um, hmm? My fear, <clears throat> my fear host was um, gondolier and cashier. A cashier, ah, okay. A cashier. In a um, restaurant, supermarket, in a business? Um, supermarket. Okay, supermarket. how old were you, Luis? 17, 18, um, 20, 21? Five years old. Okay, uh, five years uh, no. of experience, but how old were you at that time when you started working? No. Okay, ¿cuántos años tenías cuando comenzaste? Uh -huh. How old were you? Uh, uh -huh. Do you remember? ¿Te recuerdas? Uh -huh. No, you don't remember the age. No. Okay, no problem. Okay, that's it. And let's okay. see. Well, now we're going to talk about um, a conversation here. So we have Will and Tania, right? So there is, uh, if you notice, we have some words that we have previously studied. For example, uh, building. Mm -hmm. Irma, me vas a ayudar a leer, okay? You're going to help me and um, you're, let's see, Julian, you're going to help me too. You're going to be with. So okay. here we have a building, edificio, and building. we have, mm -hmm, tenemos, there are, we know now that there are means, what there are means, um, main street, lo que hablamos, calle principal, main street, um, left side, is there, Es una forma como para preguntar. We're going to, to take a look uh, at the questions. 
is there, there are. Así que todo, todo este vocabulario ya lo conoce. Imagínense, ustedes ya lo conocen o están, you are familiar to. Ya están familiarizados. Ok, please, um, Julián, you start and then Irma. Ok. Hello, can you help me? Hello, can you help me? Where is the um, Melbourne, Melbourne building? Repeat, please. Uh -huh. Where is the Melbourne building? Okay, Melbourne uh, building. Mm -hmm. I don't lie here. I don't live. Mm -hmm. I don't live here. Hey, Irma, don't worry. Don't worry. The, there are four buildings. Buildings? Buildings. Sin la U. Building. Building. Which one do you need? Mm -hmm. A girl. A girl. Told, told me and uh, go to the building uh, building on the main street. On main street, yeah. I main know street. it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I know it. I know it. It's a do it's, it's do down. Mm -hmm. It's down the street. Yes. One no. On the left side. On the left side. Uh-huh. On the left side. Thanks. I have to ask to summon Elsie. Is there a training center? Mm -hmm. There they are, are a lot. They, there are a lot training, of training, training centers. A training center on the building. Building. The building. building. Between May and King Street. Yes. I have I have some service and uh, there. Thank you. Uh, again, bye bye. Right. Okay, very good. Thank you, Julian and Irma. So uh, maybe there are some uh, new words. Se dan cuenta cómo utilizamos el there are, verdad? There are some new words, but I'm going to uh, pronounce again. Hello, can you help me? Se recuerda cómo les estaba diciendo ¿verdad? que el acento de la Preguntas es bien importantes. Hello, can you help me? What is the Melbourne building? Sorry, I don't... Yes? Perdón, sorry, teacher. Mm -hmm. eh, en el segundo párrafo de Quill. Yes? Eh, que dice, Aguirre told me to go to. No está, no está repitiendo el to go to. El to go to. O no, sea, no, it's as, okay. Uh -huh. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. A uh, uh, girl told me. El to, este, aquí no, Irá, tiene, ir. no tiene significado uh, más allá de, de, de estar con el verbo infinitivo. Por ejemplo, I like to drink water. Ajá. Cuando decimos I like, ese to drink, ese to no tiene significado. Solo cumple una función de separar un verbo. Entonces, a girl told me ir. to ajá, go to the building. Uh -huh. Sí. Ok, teacher, ajá, thank ser, you. Ok, por ejemplo... Uh, Luis, remember, you have to go to, to the office. Okay. Yes. No? Yeah. Very good. Thank you. No problem. Uh, hello, can you help me in Melbourne building? I don't live, live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Hay que usar las comas también en las diferentes comas que vemos acá. Y eso nos va a ayudar como a respirar, ¿verdad? Miren, Ana se está preparando ya como que va a entrar a jugar, ¿verdad? Estamos preparándonos. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Side. Okay, the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. Entre, ¿verdad? La calle principal y la, la calle King. I have some interviews. Podemos decir interviews o interviews. Interview, interviews. There. Thank you. Again, bye, bye. Okay. A screenshot is needed here. Necesitamos un screenshot, please. I'm sorry. It is a really mm -hmm. teacher. Yes. ¿Qué quiere decir eh, Maybelline? Ah, it's a, it's a name. It's for is if you say Simán, if you say Tapachulteca, it's an a name. Mm -hmm. 
For example, we can say, where is the INSA for building? Mm -hmm. Where is the, the INSA for building? It's a name, mm -hmm. a proper name. Okay. You're welcome. Oh, ready? Ya le tomamos una captura. Yes, I know the screenshot is ready, right? So uh, I'm going to give you now like one minute for you to just read it once para que la lean una vez. Y vamos, uh, let's go to the, to the groups. Vamos a los grupos. Hello, Wendy. We're going to work together. Vamos a trabajar juntos acá, ¿ok? Wendy, hello. Hello. No me quieres hablar, ¿verdad? Estás de creída. Ok, no. Wendy. Uh -huh. Let's practice. Vamos a practicarla. Antes que nada... Veamos, let's see the conversation and you tell me if, uh, if there is a difficult word, si hay alguna palabra difícil en lo que dice Tania. En de la conversación. Yes, ajá. Vamos a dar una revisada. Uh, es que, bueno, hay unas hay una que son más difíciles que otras, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. lo que me gusta es entender el inglés. Entonces, este, hay una que me sale, pero me voy a buscar la conversación. Yes, please. Vaya. Uh -huh. Este, esta donde dice ver... Melbourne. Ah, Melbourne, pero tienes que fijarte donde dice Tania, porque esa es la que a ti te cuesta. O sea, esa okay. es la que vas a decir ahorita. Uh -huh. Ok. Um, wish, wish, este, don't worry, there are four buildings. Buildings. Wish, Ajá. Buildings. 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 Uh -huh. Which, which one? Which one do you need? Yes. Ajá. Building. ¿Cómo me dijo que decía? Building. building. Vamos a building. olvidarnos de la U, ¿ok? Es una silent building. letter. Es una letra silenciosa que no se va a pronunciar. Building. Uh -huh. Building. Uh -huh. um, I, I know it, it's down the street on the lift. On the left side, right. down, right. down street on the left side. Mm -hmm. Down on this, on the street on the left 
Side. Side. Yes. Side. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Este. There, there are a lot. Eh, esa palabrita. Uh -huh. There um, are a lot of training centers. Training. Training. Center. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. On the building. Eh, on the building. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Between. 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 Main. Between May and King Street. Street. Ok, vamos a practicarlo una vez. Vamos. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. There are full buildings mm -hmm. uh, which, which, own, which one do you need? Mm -hmm. A girl, mm -hmm. a girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it's, I know it, it's down, down, down the, the street bridge. on the left side. Okay, thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot. Uh, Training center mm -hmm. on the building, building between May and the King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, mm -hmm. este Wendy, yo veo que cuando ya tenés como afianzada la pronunciación, lo haces bien. O sea, te mm -hmm. veo y lo haces bastante bien. Pero lo que creo es que te falta repasar la pronunciación de ciertas palabras. Uh -huh. Y estas palabras, algunas de esas ya las hemos visto. Por ejemplo, between, ya las hemos visto. Building, uh -huh. ya las hemos visto, ¿verdad? Eh, la, también hemos visto algunas otras, como por ejemplo, can you help me? Where, ¿verdad? Eh, which. Entonces, uh -huh. lo que te sugiero es que revises principalmente las conversaciones que hemos tenido. Las conversaciones uh -huh. normalmente ustedes las tienen en captura de pantalla. Entonces, ¿te das cuenta, Wendy, que normalmente poco a poco se van haciendo un poquito más difíciles las, las conversaciones? Sí, sí. Entonces, ¿qué tenemos que hacer? Irnos a las primeras. Y porque comencé con las primeras que eran las más fáciles, súper fáciles. Uh -huh. Entonces, no podemos estar con lo difícil ahorita si no tenemos lo fácil afianzado o asegurado. Así que te sugiero... Te sugiero que, ¿cómo se llama? Pues practiques las conversaciones o la mayoría que hemos estudiado. ¿Ok, Wendy? Ok. Eso te va a ayudar. Ok, okay. okay. ya es hora. Nos vemos allá en la clase principal. Gracias. Okay. You're welcome. Gracias. You're welcome. Ajá, Ana, ya, ya se te quitó el sueño. ¿Quién te quitó el sueño? Yo. <risa> Yo, teacher. Ah, ok. So, La pronunciación. Pronunciation. The pronunciation. Okay. Um, we have we have some others uh, some other participations otras participaciones de what was the first job you got paid for. Ok. Así que mientras los lo demás están pues, incorporándose Remember, what was the first Me. job? Okay. Blanca, ya te conocí la voz. Mm -hmm. Pues sí. Pues sí. My first job was the work home called PMSA and work weekend and for the club for the old post home. Angel. Okay. So, um, the first job was I'm sorry in a warehouse town. Ah, in a warehouse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Estuviste trabajando como en una bodega de suplementos. Eh, eh, una, como un almacén. Almacén, como casa almacén. matriz. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ok. Es uh, a, 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 a
acá se llamaba. We can, we can say. Ok, yes, ok. What, what was your responsibility or your function? ¿Qué hacías? Mm, customer support. Así, ah, co ok. Customer service. Or, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok, that's good. Support. Thank you. Thank you, Blanca. And we have some others. I would like to hear a Ana. Aquí viene la experiencia de Ina, del cambio que tuvo en la otra vida. Le agarra conmigo, ¿verdad? No, Ana, ya vi. No para nada, Anita. Ah, si lo molesta y conmigo la agarra, ¿verdad? No, mentiras, Anita. Te queremos. Yo te quiero mucho. ¿Qué, okay, Anita? Démosle. Démosle. Um, Let's do it. My first goal was um, plantosa. ¿Eras plantosa? No, I don't know what no, is no, plantosa. No. My first know. goal yeah. was implantosa. Ah, your Planta first job. de café. Ah, really? Okay. It, it is uh, a, an enterprise related to coffee. Yes. Oh, okay. I worked for uh, 10 years old. Ah, 10 years. Mm, nice. My position uh, was assistant uh, manager. Your position was assistant mm -hmm. manager. Wow. My record is um, was sales sales in, sales sales uh, mm -hmm. and ventures and personal and, control and mm -hmm. and control, control. Uh, okay control uh what did controlar you... personal o sea dirigirlo mm, manage manage mm -hmm. manage Man. personal mm -hmm. or es. personal management uh -huh. that's Ahí good en planta torrefacción de café Wow, Ana, a very good job. To be the first one, it's a good job. Para ser el primero es uno muy bueno. Yes. Okay, good. Ya ahora entiendo por qué. Let's Say hello. <laughs> Thanks, Ana. Thank you, thank you. Ya me vas a hacer préstamo después. Okay, yes. um, Ana, it's okay. Uh, two more people. Two more, not two more. Me, me. Me, me is normal. Me, me. Mm -hmm. Me, me, me. My first job that I was paying for was dental assistant. Dental assistant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I I confer patient appoint, appointment for the next day. Mm -hmm. I prepare all the equipment for the dentist. Uh, and assist, assist the des, dentist with the patient. Wow. Uh, wash and sterilize, sterilize the equipment. The equipment, mm -hmm. the tools, equipment. todas las herramientas. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Nice. Use. Use. You learned a lot, Norma. Aprendiste mucho. Yes. Ok. Así que quien quiera ahí una andodoncia dice que es gratis para ustedes. Sí. Good. <laughs> nice. Very good. Uh, how old were you, Norma? What? How old were you? Uh, four years, years. Four years. Ok. Years. Four years working in there. But I mean, how old were you? For example, 21 years old. 18 years old. What? ¿Qué, que ¿Cuántos tenías? años estuve ahí? Yes. Ah, este. Tenía, eso fue hace cinco años. Tenía 21. 21, ok. 21, Young, 20. very young and innocent. Joven e inocente. Good. Amos todavía, inocencia. todavía. Amo su inocencia. Ok, <laughs> good. That's nice. And let's see another. 23. Qué bien. La maciza. <laughs> okay, Jolly. No, uh, my first job that paid me was I uh, went um, eight years. Uh, I work uh, uh, with my mother in your own business. Okay, in and her own I, business. Perfect. Yeah, in her own business. Um, I got to sell with her and mm -hmm. she paid me five dollars <laughs> okay. for me it's so much well, but it's a lot a of money child a child yeah how, yeah i how was old? is mm -hmm. a child 
um, the always like me. The, ¿Cómo se dice comercio? Uh, commerce, comercio. Marketing, sales. Bueno, en este caso sería venta, ¿verdad? Sales. Sí, sales. Sales. Uh -huh. Ok, so you uh, were pretty young, like 10 years, yeah. 12 years. Yeah. Uh, desde que tenía 6 años. Uh, since, since I was 6 years. Since I was 6 years. Ok, old. so you learn how to save money. Aprendiste cómo ahorrar. Or how to waste, o a desperdiciarlo, a gastarlo, cualquiera de las dos. <laughs> Two options. Yeah. Two options. Yeah. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank okay. you for your interesting story. And one more time. No, one more. Angel. Yes, please. Go ahead, Angel. My first job was is assisting agriculture, my father. Okay, farm assistant. Good. Assist. You know, yeah. are we a recall from chill from 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 chill uh, and years and oh. that's that's uh, uh, assisting building building albañil building ah okay mm -hmm. building uh, like in the in the building uh, building only area. my father only my father okay good uh, so your father your father can uh, do Many things, right? Puede ser muchas cosas. Yeah, pudo. <laughs> ah, I'm my sorry. father did. Okay. Uh, uh, he, uh, and I work. I work hotels, only hotels. Ah, in hotels. Okay. Good. So you started working very young. Comenzaste a trabajar joven. Uh, yeah. Uh, 20, 20 years. Okay, 20 years working. That's a lot of time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Angel. Thank you for your, for your story. Okay, uh, let's go again with the... Sorry. Que este celular se me activa cuando escucha un, palabras en inglés. Okay, um, cuando ustedes hablan y todo, también hasta se activa. We have the conversation between Will and Tania. And... Will is asking about help. Está pidiendo ayuda. He needs to 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 go to a specific place. Necesita ir a un lugar específico. Okay. So um, here we have number one. Vamos a preguntarle a yeah, porque Anita mira por otro lado. Eso Anita. Nos malía, mira. <laughs> Irma, porque se está riendo. Okay, Irma, you go. No te me capaz, Irma. Number one, Irma, help me. Please. How? How? Many? Many. Mm -hmm. Many Vermouth buildings. Buildings are, are there. Uh -huh. How many buildings? <laughs> how many significa cuántos? Okay. How, how many, many buildings? Uh, sorry. How many Melbourne buildings? ¿Cuántos de estos edificios hay? Mm -hmm. Uh, building, uh, there are four buildings. Yes. Building one, yes, there are four buildings. Mm -hmm. There are four buildings. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Alex, can you help me please with reading number two and help me uh, also with the answer? What is the building where we we'll want to do to go located? Located. Mm -hmm. Where located. is it? Mm -hmm. Donde esta es el edificio que él quiere. Well, where, uh -huh. is, um... where is, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, the is um, on Main Street. Yeah, the building on Main Street. Good. That is. And here we have number three. Olga, Olguita, please. How many? How many training centers are there? Mm -hmm. Where are they? Where are they? Uh -huh. How many? There are two questions in one statement. So. How many training centers are there? There one. are a lot on a lot of many. Okay, the la, there are a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of a lot, a lot of, of mucho. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. training center. Yeah, and where are they? Donde están? Mm -hmm. 
uh, between the on the building between Main and King Street. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Between Main and King Street. Veo que este tema lo van a agarrar ustedes bien, bien rápido. Okay, me alegra, me alegra. Okay, so there is and there are uh, almost to finish. Tenemos las preguntas, the question form. There is a table, there are two desks. Uh, there isn't a table, there aren't two desks. O también there is not, ¿verdad? O there are not. So, we already know, ya sabemos, positive and negative form. Well, there is and there are, but question form. We're going to use always the verb at the beginning. Vamos con el verbo al inicio, ¿verdad? Anita, ayúdame. No llores, te queremos. Uh -huh. Please, Anna, help me ready. And then Jolly. Mm -hmm. This question. Yeah. Is there? Is there a table? Uh -huh. The answer? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Thank you. Jolly. Are there? Ah, bueno, dale, ya te inspiraste. Está bien, Ana. Are, are there, there any desks? Mm -hmm. Desks. Mm -hmm. Yes, are there? No, yes, there are. No, yes, there are. No, there's aren't. Ok, thank you. La palabra any significa ninguno cuando lo utilizamos con negativos, pero cuando se utiliza en preguntas significa alguno. Por ejemplo, si, yo les, pregunto, si les pregunto, ajá, alguno, any questions, ¿verdad? Se parece a some, some que significa alguno, solo que some siempre lo vamos a utilizar en positivas, en afirmativas, ¿ok? So okay. that's it. Um, so in this case, any. Here we have another bedroom. Tenemos otro cuarto. Y vamos a utilizar, ya para ir terminando, vamos a, ir, eh, a utilizar the question form. Is there a... Entonces vamos a utilizar uh, los nombres de los compañeros acá. Por ejemplo, Wendy le puede preguntar a, a Olga. O le puede preguntar a Blanca. Is there... Le va a decir, Olga, is there a cat in the bedroom? Hay un gato. En el, en el cuarto y Blanca le va a decir yes, there is o no, there isn't ok, vamos a utilizar esto, si quieren pueden tomarle captura a esto, verdad, si quieren if you want obviously tomorrow I'm going to send you this uh, presentation pero más que todo para la manera como contestar, cómo hacer la pregunta y cómo contestar, ok so yes, no questions Solo tendríamos acá entonces esto que sería bien corto. And let's do it. Uh, we start with Luis Martinez. Could you help me, Luis? Select any of your classmates. Selecciona cualquiera de tus compañeros y le vas a preguntar. Is there or are there? Alex Aldana. Ah. Go ahead. My partner. Venganza, dice. Revenge. <laughs> Uh -huh. Alex Aldana, is there sorry teacher, no understand. <laughs> no te puedes <laughs> vengar, mira. Ok. Ok. <laughs> puedes decir algo que está allí o algo que no está. Por ejemplo, yo le pregunto a Blanca, Blanca, is there a dog in the bedroom? ¿Qué me contestarías, Blanca? Yes, there is, or no, there no, isn't. No, there isn't. No, there isn't, porque no está. Entonces tú le puedes preguntar algo que sí está o que no está. Lo que va a variar va a ser la respuesta de Alex. Ok, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Alex Aldaña. Oh, sí, dice. Is there are a girl in the bedroom? Is there a girl? Mm -hmm. Is there a girl in the bedroom? Alex, what do you say? No, there is not. Yeah, perfect. No, there is not. Thank you. Okay, Alex, now you ask to another person. Tú le preguntas a alguien más. Okay. Blanca. Okay, Blanca. Ah, pobre Blanca. Uh -huh. Blanca. Are there a lion in the bedroom? Okay, are there lions? Uh -huh. Hay leones? No, there are. No, there no, aren't. Okay, perfect. Blanca, you go. Another. 
Ay, a Yoli para que no se duerma, mira. A Yoli, vale. Sí, porfa, porfa, ya la vi que está sufriendo, por amor. Yo también estoy sufriendo, tengo sueños. Por amor, ok. No, Thank amor, you no. For that no, no estoy Van sufriendo la por amor. Van a las orejas. Pero veo. Ok, ah, ya vamos entonces después, contigo, Blanca. Ok, okay. okay. Eh, Yolanda. Yoli, sorry. Are you ready for the <risa> question? Todos tengan lista su pregunta. Recuerden lo que les digo, anticiparse. You have to anticipate. Teacher, I listen me. Yeah, yeah, I can listen. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Who? ¿Quién más? Mm, yo pregunto o me yes, vas a preguntar. Yes, no, you have to ask, please. Porque Blanca ahorita okay. está ordenando sus sentimientos. Ok, Jolie, you go. Ok, a Francis. Francis, Francis, Francis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a Francis. Uh, is, there, is there a window in the bedroom? Ok, is there, mm -hmm. is there a window or are there windows? Mm, es una, lo único que se abre en dos partes. <laughs> ok, is there a window? Mm -hmm. Sí, is there a window? Uh -huh. In the bedroom. No está Francis. A Ana, preguntarle. Mira, yo sé que quiere contestar a Anita. Ana, pues, Ana. Ajá. Is there a window in the bedroom, Ana? Is there a window? Uh -huh. um, yes. yes, there is or no, there isn't. Yes, there is. Eso, con propiedad. Yes, there is two. No, es una no, sola. There is a window. <laughs> no, yes, there is. Ok. Um, eh, Ana, are you ready with your question? ¿Estás lista con tu pregunta? Um, excuse me. Eh, ¿Tu pregunta la tienes lista? ¿Your question? Uh, no. No. Ok, no problem. Uh, me, pues ya. Vaya, Blanca, pues <laughs> sí, estamos esperando. Dale, Blanquita, pregúntamele a alguien más. A Luis Borges, uh, que también quiere responder, uh, dice. A Luis. Yes. There is a gap in the bedroom. Ah, se, tendría que ser is there. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Is there a car in the bedroom? Mm -hmm. A cat or car? Cat. 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 Meow. Sí. Yes. A gata angora. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, there is not. There, no, there is not. Definitely. Muy bien. A menos que esté escondida la gata. Eh, Luis. <laughs> Uh, you please make a question to another person. Okay. Okay. Um, nombre. Okay, the name. Blanca. Blanca. No, Blanca ya estuvo. No, pobrecita, todo no. está haciendo con Blanca. Si quiere quitar el sueño, me no, quiere hombre, quitar el sueño. No, no, okay. <laughs> claro. Okay, dele. Eh, ya lo van a regañar después. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Eh, la pregunta sería Are there horse on the bedroom? Are there horses? Mm -hmm. Porque Hors por la, are there horses the in, in the bedroom? The bedroom. Hay un caballito. Ajá, Blanca. No, Blanca. There, no. No. There, no, aren't. there are. No, there, no aren't. there aren't. Okay, thank you. Muy bien, ya para ir terminando, because we don't have, we have only nine minutes, solo tenemos nueve minutos, vamos con la última. What was the first job you got paid for? ¿Verdad? Tenemos pocos que nos hacen falta. Okay, so, Norma, no, Norma is finished. Olga. Hi. Olga. Uh, my first job, job. Was the constru constructora mm -hmm. constructors okay? Uh, I uh, I was the secretary, mm -hmm. the secretary at TypeScript, uh, digitadora, ah, uh, typing, mm -hmm. typing, mm -hmm. the typing. I stay to just 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 all. Mm -hmm. Dos años. Ajá. You work in there two years. Okay, that's good. I have uh, 89. 
Mm, sorry. 18, I have that. 18, uh, 18, 18 ah, years. you were, you were. I worked at 18, 18, 18. Oh, thank you. You were 18 and you're working there. Thank you, um, Francisca and, solo to Fran, no, Francisca and Julian. Julian, are you ready? I am ready. Yeah, please go ahead, my friend. Okay, in my first job, and uh, into working in a clothes store. Clothes store. In my job. Mm -hmm. Clothes store. And uh, my job was to take inventory and of the mer merchandise. Yeah, merchandise. Mm -hmm. Merchandise of the clothes, shoes, lotions and to keep them in the excellent condition. Oh, very good. Thank you for your detailed information. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. And Carolina and Francis, and we finish. My first mm -hmm. call was in a legal, legal office, building mm -hmm. document. Okay. In a building document, you were, were you a secretary? Yes. Yes, you were a secretary. Okay, how old were you? Cuantos eh, años tenías? Uh, 20. 20, okay. Very nice. How much time did you work in there? Cuánto tiempo trabajaste? How much time? One year, two years? One year. One year. Okay. Thank you, Carmina. Yes. Very good. Thank you. And Francis, we finish with you. Francis, se me fue. She's going, teacher. Okay. I, I think, I think she, she's out. Okay. Well, uh, to finish, maybe something that you got confused algo que les confundió fue esto y con este termino si les pregunto how old are you les estoy preguntando qué edad tienen y se lo voy a poner acá con la letra porque okay, we have six minutes solo seis minutos y terminamos ok so we have here how old how old are you entonces si quiero quiero hacer en pasado esta pregunta solo voy a decir how old were you porque were es el pasado de are ok es un verbo irregular y que cambia en el pasado so how old are you yo le pregunto en la actualidad y si le pregunto how old were you when you worked in cuando trabajaste en, por ejemplo en un supermercado o cualquier cosa so how old were you o le podemos preguntar, how old were you in 1999? ¿Cuántos años tenías en 1999? Okay. That could be like the, the well, the, the question. Esa sería como la pregunta. Entonces, how old are you? How old were you? Es algo que noté que, pues, les estuvo como confundiendo un poco. In my case, I, I, yo confundí el, el where con el where. Por eso me quedaba ahí como que cuándo. O sea, I'm dónde, sorry. Dónde. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, how old were? Como que cuántos, dónde. Uh -huh. Y casualmente se pronuncia igual, pero significa cosas diferentes, ¿verdad? Son homófonos. Los homófonos son palabras que, como dice la palabra homo, eh, es igual. Tiene fono, es el sonido. Tiene sonido similar o igual, pero significan cosas diferentes. Okay, so this is like just the, the explanation of this um, this question. Any other question? Otra pregunta para ir terminando? I guess no. Um, le voy a preguntar solo tres, tres, bueno, voy a hacer tres preguntas. Luis Martinez. Is there a computer in your workplace? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, there is. Nice. Eric, are there cars in your workplace? Yes, there are. Perfect. 
uh, Luis Borja, are there computers? Are there computers in your workplace? Yes, sir. Yes, there are. Nice. Alex, are there tigers in your workplace? No, aren't. No, there aren't. Nice. Irma, are there gossip people in your workplace? Gente chambrosa. Are there gossip people in your workplace? Irma. She sleep, teacher. Yeah, she's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Se me detuvo el inter. Ajá, ajá. Mm -hmm. Me escuché lo que me estaba preguntando. Are there gossip people in your workplace? Hay gente chambrosa en tu lugar de trabajo. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. Thank you. Jolie, are there good people in your workplace? Yes, there are. There are. You, for example, right? Yeah. Okay, good. And Julian, are there secretaries in your workplace? Uh, there is. There are. Yes, there is. Yes. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Okay. Thank you. Uh, solo comentarles algo para ir finalizando eh, el, los días anteriores han estado terminando las tareas o las evaluaciones el día viernes en la noche o sábado en la mañana. Pero para esta semana, pues, me están pidiendo que si pueden estar para el día viernes, pues, mucho que mejor. Después de las tareas, ¿verdad? Que, que es una después de cada clase, vamos a tener eh, el final test, que es un examen final, porque hay dos, dos exámenes, digamos, eh, que el middle term, que es en, a la mitad del curso, y el fine, ¿verdad? Eso sería todo. Y se va a evaluar eh, el desempeño de ustedes, eh, pues, con base al tiempo en el que ustedes han estado eh, pues, dedicándole, ¿verdad? Todos los minutos a las clases, eh, su uh, development, on the homeworks, eh, la, el desempeño de ustedes en las tareas, que eso es bien importante, ¿verdad? Así que, como les digo, las evaluaciones no es que las hago yo, sino que ya están en la plataforma. Pero yo sé que, pues, están saliendo bien. Y eh, recapitulando, si ustedes han salido bajos en una, en una ponderación, en una nota, pueden mejorar, ¿ok? Pueden volverla a hacer y mejoran, pero avisen, porque yo, estoy, yo paso las notas cuando están. Entonces, si ustedes lo vuelven a hacer cualquier cosa, avísenme para cambiarles esa nota, porque esa es mi función, no calificarles, sino que solo cambiar sus notas de un lugar a otro, ¿ok? So, we finish. En la tarea, Lick. Yes. Eh, ok, Ana, en, I don't know, Luis, later. Yes, la tarea 12, yo le comenté que tuve problemas, ¿verdad? Que no me aceptaba la plataforma y lo cambié de mil formas. Eh, lo voy a volver a intentar y se la voy a volver a reenviar. Uh -huh. Please. Junto con esta de ahora. Please, ajá, lo que pasa es que yo al final de la semana es que veo la, las notas, ¿verdad? Porque okay. salen al final y de ahí yo las paso, ¿verdad? Ah, perfecto. Ok. Yes, Luis. Gracias. No problema. Sí, eh, eh, las, las tareas se las está, bueno, veo que se las están mandando al grupo. Eh, o... No, es, es individual realmente. Ajá. A suyo, a suyo. Al, sí, al... sí. Ah, sí, okay. ahí así, yo, yo llevo como el, el control. El también. Uh -huh. eh, sí. Pichel. Yo le... este, cuando uno intenta, eh, la plataforma agarra la primera prueba o agarra la última La nota? última, la última. Del midterm y del test, ese sí no sé. Pero de las tareas sí sé que agarra pues la última. Ah, ok. El último intento. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Por eso, eso es lo que me han comentado, ¿verdad? Mis superiores, que pueden mejorar la nota. Ok. okay. Pero por cualquier cosa, me escriben y me avisan. Teacher, ya lo hice, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay. okay, so see you tomorrow. Nos see vemos mañana. Tomorrow, ya solo nos quedan po Thank pocos días. Sir. Okay. Good night. 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 Sweet dreams. Good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye. Hello.
Okay, so uh, I'm waiting for, for the person who is supposed to be here in the personal session. Um, as well, I have some other students that have previously told me that they would like to be here, taking advantage of this time. Uh, remember that this personal session, it helps um, mainly to reinforce some knowledge and it helps as well to, to improve the pronunciation and some grammar structures. So while I am waiting for the person who is going to be here, I'm going to reinforce the main topic that is the there is and there are words. So in this case, here we have there is, it is singular and there are plural. So the first uh, sentence says, there is an ATM across the street. There is a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Um, there's no clothing factory around the corner. It is important to mention that the, here we have some silent letters. For, in, for example, recruitment. In recruitment, we have uh, the, the vowel U that it is the silent letter. So there is a recruitment, I'm sorry, I is the silent letter, so recruitment. I is not pronounced. And then uh, we have, there's no clothing, there's no clothing factory around the corner. Um, then here we have the plural, there are, there are a lot of companies down street. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. And there are no hospitals on Barrios Street. So, regarding there is and there are, here we can have the positive, negative, and just no question. The three forms of a statement. And here you can see the word there, in pink color, uh, the verb B in green, and the complement in gray. So we have positive, there is a table, there are two desks here. Uh, remember to pronounce the plural of nouns. It would be like weird if you pronounce there are two desks because two, it means plural, more than one. So. There are two desks. You can say as well, there are two tables, okay? In the negative form, here we have the contraction form for there isn't a table. As well, you may say there is not a table. And also you can mention there aren't any desks or there are not any desks. Okay, so for the yes, no question, we have, is there a table? Are there any desks? And the short answer, yes, there is, or no, there isn't. In the same case, we have uh, for negative, uh, yes, there are, I'm sorry, for affirmative, yes, there are, and no, uh, there aren't. So. We use this picture to explain and to create some questions, to create some questions for there is or uh, there are. In this case, we can say affirmative statements. There is a teddy bear on the bed. Uh, there is a lamp in the bedroom. There is a bike. Plus, we can use a propositional uh, a propositional place. For instance, we can say, 
there is a ball next to the bike or there is a pillow on the bed or even there is a backpack ne next to the drawer or the night uh, table. That's for affirmative uh, statements. Now, if we can use the negative statements, we can um, say, or we may say, there isn't a basketball uh, net in the bedroom. There isn't a cell phone in the bedroom or there isn't a tablet on the table. So we are using the negative form. Now, if we want to ask about if there is or no uh, a specific object, we may say, is there a black cat in the, is there a black cat in the bedroom? Or we can say, is there a black cat under the table? The answer could uh, maybe no, there isn't, because if we see the picture, uh, there is no cat. Then we have the other, uh, okay the other picture. Okay, so let's see, maybe we have a guest. Um, um, to the same link. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so I was supposed to have like uh, 10 minutes with uh, a student. Unfortunately, she couldn't be here, but okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm waiting for this person. Roger. Okay, I'm waiting for this person to be here. I hope he could connect. Hello, Eric, how are you doing, man? Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm sorry. Francisca was supposed to be here, but I was trying to take where well, I was texting and she couldn't answer. So uh, we have five minutes. So you tell me what would you like to talk about if is there uh, any specific grammar point you would like to know or to clarify? I'm willing to help. Okay. Uh, first, well, I think my English is very low mm -hmm. because I need I need to catch or I need to I need to add a lot of vocabulary, mm -hmm. but. For example, when I read the text or newspaper or magazine or books, yeah, right, right away, I read and translate the text. Oh, you translate. Mm -hmm. I, 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 and right away, immediately or simultaneously. Mm -hmm. But I need a, I need your, your tip because. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let, let's do this. Remember, tomorrow we have our session. Okay. Tomorrow mm -hmm. is, is, is your turn. So let's do something. Maybe we can talk about uh, a specific one, well, a specific topic that you like, or it, it can be two. Okay. So let's prepare one or two topics to talk about tomorrow. 
okay? And we're going to take into account the tips that I'm going to say right now, okay? Mm -hmm. For example, let's imagine we talk about poverty in the, in the world. We're going to look for keywords and to specific uh, questions about your opinion. Remember, okay. now you are in the level in which you talk about your opinion and the things that are around you, but you can go to the next level and you can talk about things that affect to other people or to affect places or, or countries. So, okay. uh, as I told you the last time, uh, reading, it is a good exercise. Uh, I, I think you, you have done, right? Yes, yes, of course. Your English is really good, Eric. Believe me, your English is nice. And you have like uh, different vocabulary than the one that I expected. I expected you, you could have like a basic vocabulary, but you have some other words and that's good. But something that made me, it, it is needed. Um, maybe some phrases in which you can start and link ideas. O sea, okay. frases y palabras que te van a hacer vincular las ideas. Eso okay. te va a hacer que tu inglés no lo sientas tan pausado. Yeah. Porque sabes qué sucede. Cuando estamos hablando, when we are talking, while I am talking to you, at the same time, there is a process in my mind. And I'm thinking about what can I say or what tips can I tell you. But in advance, I'm trying to create some some what some tips entonces estoy pensando mi mente es mientras yo estoy hablando mi mente está procesando eso y mi mente está diciendo vamos a ver qué, te, qué tips le podemos dar de lo que me han servido y todo eso y yo te estoy hablando o sea que el cerebro puede hacer dos o más cosas por las ramificaciones que tenemos de nuestras neuronas entonces lo que tienen que hacer es como tener frases y eso sí me ha ayudado bastante frases que normalmente no decimos mucho pero esas frases nos ayudan a pensar y nada pero más. Frases, pero frases como idioms. Pueden ser idioms, por ejemplo. Vaya, eh, si me preguntas acerca de algo... Bien, pregúntame acerca de cualquier tema. Uh, cualquier eh, cualquier que, que se te ocurra. No, no lo vamos a discutir, solo quiero que me lo digas. Uh, where, where, does, where does she live? Where does, she live? where does your mother live? Okay. Well, where does... Fíjate cuántos segundos me voy a tardar. Where does my mother live? Um, first, let me tell you that I remember that my mother has lived in three houses. And the three houses are... Ha, well, have been really special for me. Entonces, en todos estos segundos... No te dije nada, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Entonces, solo yeah. comencé la, la oración. Casa. Ajá, entonces, estás hablando de la casa, pero no, en un, no, no específicamente la respuesta que vos querés. Uh -huh. A eso voy. Mientras te preguntan algo, a veces, eh, mira, los estadounidenses quieren la respuesta rápida, no quieren que vos hables mucho, pero a veces, en in, in interviews, te preguntan cosas o estás con otras personas y cuando no tenés una respuesta, digamos, bien clara, Haces como un, como un break point, como un punto de descanso en el cual vos estás hablando, pero vos te ves como un poco natural hablando mientras estás pensando qué vas a decir. Por ejemplo, puedes decir, well, in my, vos lo has dicho a veces, in my case or in my point of view, I can say that there are different houses who, well, which have been very special, but the best, uh, well, or, Her favorite house was the one located in San Jacinto. Entonces, dije ciertas frases que aparte que te ayudan a ganar tiempo para pensar, se ven como vinculadas y tu inglés lo estás practicando más. Entonces, a eso voy. Ahora, eh, si quieres practiquémoslo para el día de mañana. Eh, nos ponemos de acuerdo uno o dos temas que te interesan más o menos. Le damos una leída. Pero okay. temas me refiero como, no necesariamente de, de, del clima, de la, de la contaminación, puede ser tema de... Eh, por lo menos ahora estaba leyendo un artículo pequeño de unas 10, 12 líneas en tres niveles. Hay una es, lecturas en tres niveles en una página de Google uh -huh. que aparece 
que habla, hoy hablaba específicamente de los hipopótamos. Uh -huh. Encontré tres, cuatro palabras nuevas en los tres niveles y ya las trato de memorizar, el nuevo vocabulario. Eh, por ejemplo, eh, los, los hipos, de hipos, uh -huh. eh, normally lives, live uh -huh. in, the, in the South Africa or eh, the hipo shows at the circus. Uh -huh. Tienen presentaciones en los yeah, circos. They have shows. Uh -huh. yeah. they have shows. Uh -huh. por, lo, uh -huh. por lo menos eso. Vaya, vaya, pero a eso voy. Ahora. Voy a escoger esos dos temas pegaditos y le puedo mandar el, el, el link. Vaya, puede ser uh -huh. ese tema, elegí uno más o mira que me mandas el link y este, si yo encuentro un tema un poco también como que medio interesante, podemos practicar ciertas preguntas. Yo tengo un par de preguntas que te puedo hacer. In advance. Pero si, tiene, si, si tiene usted espacio en la mañana de mandármelo para que me quede chance de estudiarlo. Sí, sí, te voy a hacer un par de preguntas ahí para, para ver qué, pero más que todo va relacionado a, a, a ti, ¿verdad? Podemos hablar de, de, de tema, un tema extra, aparte, pero también eh, siempre vincularlo a, a ti. Por ejemplo, si estás hablando de los hipopótamos, ¿no? ok. Sí. I have read an article uh, that was really interesting. Uh, that made me remember some, well, some memories uh, from childhood. Y comienza así a, así a hablar un poco. Entonces le metes tus recuerdos de, de, de la visita al zoológico. Entonces el punto acá, Eric, es que trate de verse más fluido porque yo sé que hay un momento en que uno traduce. Entonces cuando traducimos perdemos segundos perdemos eh, momentos y eso nos hace que nuestro inglés, como vos lo decís, se sienta pausado. Créame que de verdad estoy metiéndole con todo a esto porque es la única salida ahorita, la puerta. Pero yo creo, yo creo que, que vas por buen camino. ¿Hace cuánto que has comenzado? Pues, este... eh, tengo alrededor de unos, ya enfocado, enfocado, seis meses. No, hombre, pero de octubre para acá, enfocado. Pero lo que siento más, el digamos, como no tener un partner. Uh -huh. Eso, eso, eso una necesitas. Como que siento que a la hora de estar en una clase es muy distinto a como tener una confianza abierta, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Que las palabras fluyan mejor. No sé si se ha dado el No, caso claro, mejor. claro, totalmente, ah. totalmente. Es que eso es lo ah, que más... Como que es más abierta la, la confident. Entonces, eso parte y el desarrollo del listening. Uh -huh. Ok. Yo creo que ahí en el listening estás bien, captas, también cuando lees, yo creo que eh, decodificas bien el, el mensaje, pero sí necesitas más, 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 más speaking, necesitas, entonces sí. mediante eso ya vas hallando. Te voy a recomendar un, un par de apps que ahí después te, te la voy a pasar mañana, ok, espero, pero sí. si puedo, sí, yo creo que tal vez en la mañana tengo espacio, ¿verdad? Entonces para que practiques, entonces tú sí necesitas esa, sí, la verdad, que yo, esa interacción. No es que, sí, yo creo que ya no es más neces, ya no es motivación, sino que es más necesidad, así uh -huh. en lo personal. Ajá. Ok, yo creo ah, que, yo no. creo que tú, tú puedes lograr y pues te voy a decir quizás un par de, bueno, ahí en el, en, en, en el chat te, te voy a mandar un par de también de tips que puedes utilizar en ciertos sitios web y todo eso, ¿verdad? que te pueden ayudar, sí. y mañana tenemos la conversation session, ¿ok? Excelente. De okay. La, después de la clase, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, después de la clase, ya de las 10, sí. eh, todos se van y tú te quedas ahí, y empezamos a ver eso, ¿ok? Excelente, muchísimas gracias okay. por okay. su aporte. No, ya sabes, ahí Dios te bendiga. A la orden, bendiciones. Feliz noche. Igual. Gracias. Goodbye.